Welcome, one and all. This is the Peace Dealer, where I can pimp my matrix. Shout out to Maru Matu. I call bullshit. Oh, yeah, I see y'all. Not, not y'all watching, but anyone else is bullshit. I see y'all. Anyway, what's good, y'all? Have a public service announcement. This is a new special topic video. For those of you who are wondering where my other special topic videos are, like the initiation of the secret path or the reality hackers, I waited until Jupiter is in Capricorn so that I can go into the depth and specifics. So those are coming. However, we need to talk about Neptune and sextiling Uranus. Because you are manifesting your legend. It's only been a decade plus in the making. This is some real shit, by the way. I'm totally not capping. And unfortunately, it's going to go over a lot of people's heads. Because how many legends do we have in this world? I mean, everyone thinks they're a legend. But not everyone is truly a legend. Everyone has the capacity to fulfill their legend but at an alarming rate, many don't. I think I used that phrase wrong. A lot of people do not. And the reason why a lot of people do not is because to fulfill your legend, or let me simplify this. It's not as simple, but in a simplified way, what distinguishes legends from the greats, from the best of the best, from the average person is that legends believe in themselves even when no one else believes in them. Think of every single legend that you know exists and has ever existed. At some point in their life, there was a vision that only they could see and everyone else didn't really understand it. Yeah, they had supporters, but it's not like those people really got what they were saying because it was only at the time real for that person. And what made them a legend is that they did not let that dynamic stop them. Easier said than done. It's not really that easy to hold fast for a vision that only you understand because normally, you lose friends, you could lose jobs, you could lose connections, you could lose doors that are lucrative. However, those who actually stick to the vision they've been shown, aha, uh -huh, this is already striking a chord with some of you. Those who stick to the vision that has been shown get way more than they ever bargained for. So let's break this down. Because Neptune is in Pisces, and it's sextiling Uranus and Taurus. Mind you, Neptune was semi-sextiling Uranus and Aries. This is a huge deal. Now that it's in Taurus, you have a legend that's actualizing itself. And the reason why I'm making this video is because some of you... First of all, if in your natal chart, you have energy in Pisces, Aquarius, Aries, Taurus, and Gemini, you Gucci. I'm going to say this again. If you have energy in your chart, you can even add Capricorn too. Actually, you can even add Sag. So if you have energy in your chart from Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini and Cancer, you good. Cancer, give or take. Cancer, you really don't count, but you, you part of us, okay? Left hemisphere, baby. Important things about these signs. Sagittarius to Pisces represents the universal aspect. Th those four signs don't care about you. They're plugged into the universe. They're here to be our cosmic observers. That's why Aquarius is so detached. You're immortal to them. They are immortal. They are cosmic. They really can't care about the small stuff because they channel the universal vibration as an open vessel for us. Aries to Cancer is individual. So we love being social. However, 
We're so focused on us that we have an internal locus of control. So be mindful. If you have energy focused more on the left hemisphere, not by house, but by these signs, you're not going to be affected by the negatives of this and you're going to thrive. It makes sense because these outer planets are here too. And so just keep that in mind. This is so very important. On one side, this is, oh my God, you're manifesting your legend completely. Everyone is, but these are the ones and signs that are most likely to do so. However, you're also the signs that are going to get the most attacked. If you are, oh, and I split it in half. If you are Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio, and you can add a Cancer there too, because Cancer progresses there. Good luck. I'm not saying that you can't manifest your legend, but it's gonna be so much harder because as a social sign, you depend on social interaction with other people. Libra cares about other people's opinions. If you think about a liaison and an agent, someone who does PR work has to. Someone who's like a Leo, who depends on an audience for how they express themselves, has to. So it's not impossible, but y'all are gonna struggle the most with this. It doesn't mean you won't manifest your legend though. And we'll get into why. So, Uranus was in Aries for about a decade. And this took the legend that has been developing pre-2010 and began to spark a light within your consciousness. What was so very important about 2017 is that you have manifested a unique spark of your character, your higher self. The reason why people are saying you're becoming your higher self is because Uranus and Aries pretty much created this, trining in from Sagittarius. But this is important. Your superpower is that there is nobody else that is you. And so there are ways you be and things you do that cannot be known except to you. There are facets of you that cannot be understood except to you. And some people see that as a bad thing. You shouldn't be depressed if certain people don't understand you. Of course, they're bearing certain context. It's actually your best game. That's your trump card. Okay, know thyself. So keep that in mind because you manifested this. Now let's track back because Jupiter was on Uranus and Pisces and you didn't know because Pisces can't be known. It can only be experienced. And you were creating and imagining your legend. Well, now you're manifesting it. You have a lore behind you. And some of you feel this. So this is why I have to make this message. You need to embrace being weird as hell. But you have to understand that the vision that you're going to be manifesting right now will make sense to little to no one. And it is not meant to. This is why I said at any zodiac sign from Sagittarius to Gemini, the way they live their life, they're already not seeking validation from other people. So, I mean, it's just like everyday living. The other signs, you may be put in a position where you care too much about that. And so you inhibit your expression because you're afraid of being misunderstood. And it's easy to say, I don't care how people see me until deals are on the line until, you know, you miss out on certain opportunities because you made the revolutionary decision of believing in yourself when no one else did. Here, let me use an infamous example of this. Our sitting president. He was literally at a time where everyone in the media was saying he would never win presidency, but he did. Okay, so keep that in mind because this legend that you're manifesting is unlike anything that has ever been. And so there is no context for other people to understand. And the only people in this world who will understand 
are people who are part of your soul vibration who are reflections and aspects of you meant to reflect that back so that you can go on your journey. Things are getting more supernatural than ever. So there's vocabulary, there's habits, there are expressions and attributes of your character that are unique to you that you must embrace. Uranian energy can induce a God complex. Neptunian energy can induce a God complex. You do not have a God complex. You are embracing the God within. And this extremity of manifestation will evoke extreme reactions from people. And you're going to have a lot of people at some level offended. Some of them may not even know why they're offended because your courage and willingness to be what no one else is used to will make them at a very gut level feel intimidated and uncomfortable. This is not going to be an issue for people with internal locuses of control and high levels of self-esteem. But newsflash, I would say over 80% of the world population is disgustingly insecure. So just be prepared for more people than you expect to project onto you miss what's the word to project onto you misunderstandings but more so twistings of 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 how you express yourself there's a layer of how certain people see you or believe you are or want you to be versus who you actually are so because you're going to go out on a limb and like incorporate energy, vocabulary, and aspects of yourself that do not make sense to social norm and certain things that are established in society, it's gonna make you a target. Once again, some of you are gonna enjoy this process because some of you are divas. You know certain people are, are intimidated by you. You like that type of thing. Others of you, you get uneasy. For those of you who get uneasy, this is gonna be a very difficult time for you. For those of you who like it, you're literally going to be like the bad guy on WWE who shows up and people are booing and you get on the turnbuckle like, what's up, motherfuckers? Yeah, they pay me, I don't care. Boo me, I'm gonna win the match anyway, what's up? So keep that in mind. I'm not telling you to be a villain, I'm telling you to be uncompromisingly you. Because dark forces, and we can define dark forces as any forces that operate in the abscess of light, are going to induce logical fallacies, straw men, and of course, red herrings on red herrings and red herrings and ad hominems to twist the prerogative of the truth you're speaking for it to mean what they want it to mean versus what it is. You need to be versed in the art of argument. This needs to be your sword because it doesn't matter how cool you are, how nice you are, be very well prepared for more of people to deliberately twist your intent to mean something else. And it's not for you to be defending it, it's for you to focus on your vision and manifest your legend. There are aspects of your vision that are not supposed to make sense. And the reason why it's impossible is because you're gonna make it possible. And what's stunning a lot of you is that you're trying to look for other people for context to do something that only you can do. Remember, Uranus created this from 2010. And so this is manifesting physically, hence the sextile. Uranus is in Taurus, bridging the depth of your eccentricity with the limitless potential of your imagination to literally manifest a world that has never been explored. Because what's gonna happen is Uranus is gonna go into Gemini and then you're really going to experience this verbal lexicon you've created. So if you're talking to fairies, if you're talking to spirits, if you're aware, I'm using this as a, because it doesn't have to pertain to spiritual themes. This could pertain to bank tellers that are coming up with a new accounting system. Case in point, you're ready to manifest physically attributes of yourself that have never before been seen, never before been experienced, but I need to tell you, this is going to feel weird. You have been conditioned to act and feel a certain way. And you'll know you're breaking that conditioning if 
the more you are authentically yourself, the crazier you feel. That crazy feeling is not craziness. It is the establishment of authenticity with your rainness. But then there's Neptune that's going to bring a delusional feel because there is a different sense of how you are deliberately breaking old social norm patterning deep in your unconscious. I wish there was a better way that I can say this, but please understand that you are forging your own legend. And this is going to evoke extreme reactions because as a revolutionary noun, you are threatening the status quo. Remember, in the tarot, Taurus is the hierophant. Taurus is the hierophant. It's the card of status quo, tradition. And Uranus is the fool who literally scoffs that tradition because they're on an adventure. So you are deliberately breaking status quo to build a new status quo. It's going to feel weird. It's going to be strange. People are going to call you a weirdo. You're going to get that feel. What's going to separate the legends from the wannabes is that the wannabes are going to shrink under pressure. Because it's not that easy. I'm not going to lie. When you can feel the pressure of other people's opinions, it, not everyone's a Gemini or Sagittarius that can laugh at that and, and or Aquarius and literally not give a damn. Period. Okay, some people depend on it. Some people, this is part of their job. And so please be prepared for opportunities that seemed great to close. Those doors are going to close because you have to make a decision before the North Node leaves cancer. And that decision is to take the path and road less traveled or to take the path that looks good and will get you the conventional success that you have been taught to achieve. Some people are going to get that success and they'll be content with that success. A fewer amount are going to achieve something that only they can achieve and achieve legendary status that others will never attain in their entire life. And you have to be okay with certain people not getting it at all because shit gets real now. Pluto's in Capricorn. Jupiter's in Capricorn. Saturn's in Capricorn. Uranus is in Taurus. You have been building this legend for years, and now it's becoming real. And some of you have already been building this before, so this is not new for a lot of you. But for those of you get ready, this comes at a price. This awakening shit is not a joke. Some people still do this for popularity. Some people, some people are literally using spirituality as a gimmick to get fame with meme pages and to literally make videos about buzzword topics because they know that's what brings people. And they fooled themselves to act like they're helping people. But we see you. <laughs> Your actions show it all. Your fruit shows it all. Okay? So be prepared to make decisions that other people will not understand. But it's true to you, baby. Okay? Not only are you manifesting this legend, it's also an understanding of yourself that transcends duality and reality. So some of you feel like you have a God complex because your soul and your being is forcing you to recognize yourself at a level higher than what you have been taught. It is a fact that the status quo of society expects you to act a certain way, to be a certain way. Think about, think about how Kanye West had to repeat himself when he said, he's a God. I just told you who I thought I was, a God. And if you take religious indoctrination and brainwashing, they do a lot to shave off ego. This is why spirituality is the 12th house, which undoes the ego. But in the Bible, God introduces himself to Moses as I am. I am that I am, which is the quintessential expression of ego. That's why I can't trust anyone who says kill the ego. Yeah, they mean well, but they don't know what they talking about. Okay, own that ego, manifest that legend, and please understand, the weirder you feel, the more you need to embrace it. It's, it's not going to be easy for some of you. 
but it's going to be like breathing for others of you. Team Gemini, what's up? That North Note is coming to our side. It's a wrap. Anyway, y'all, this is part one of the video. I'm going to break down what this means for your zodiac sign, what it means to go through this as a Cancer, what it means to go through this as a Sagittarius sun, and, you know, the last thing I have to really say about this is make this time count. The most important part of this is you're quintessentially going to be breaking old generational norms, status quos that aren't normal. But if you're living your life to be normal, you're wasting your life. Dare to dream and make that dream real because you deserve it and you a legend. And until next time, peace.